This book combines books five and six of the National Trail from Bingenden to Toowoomba for a total of about 500 kilometers with around 7,000 meters of vertical gain. I plan to take a detour from the trail to ride along the Kilkyvan to Kingaroy Rail Trail as well. I would then rejoin the trail at Blackbutt. During this section, I would have the good fortune to meet some fantastic friends of the trail, Darren and Lee at Musket Flat, Doug and Felicity at Emmervale, and Lynn at Murphy's Creek. Their warmth and hospitality was amazing. I was welcomed with open arms and treated like I was a long lost family member. And I can't thank you enough for your generosity. As well as amazing people, I was also about to cycle through some of my favourite parts of the trail thus far, most of which was reminiscent of the Mundabidi Trail in Western Australia. The mostly flat tracks that I'd experienced so far began to give way to a steady stream of punchy hills with a few bigger ones sprinkled in just to keep things interesting. The landscape became greener with a wider variety of trees that were larger in size. It was a real treat to ride through the dappled sunlight of woodland while surrounded by a dazzling array of birdsong. Towns became more frequent and it was a delight to be able to spend time in these places. I particularly liked Blackbutt, Wondaya and Murphy's Creek. I stayed with an incredible warm showers host in Toowoomba. Thanks so much Janet. And I got my bike serviced there and I was able to rest my body and enjoy the delights of a big town. left Bigenden after a rest day there and resupply, stretched my legs, ate, watched a bit of TV, read and yeah, just took it easy really. Legs are feeling good, yeah, it's good track so far. Going to be doing about 70 k's to Sandy Creek camp, although I did set off a bit late this morning. So I might cut that a bit short and see how you go. just arrived at this sweet little spot, it's called Musket Flat. It's about 40 kilometers from Bigenden, where I was last night. And I wasn't planning on staying here, but this is a sweet little place. It's got a hitching post for horses. Grass for horses as well. Got some shelter. Picnic table, some fuel for a fire, and there's even a water tank around here as well. So I think I'm going to stay here tonight. It's half past one in the afternoon. Just gonna have an early day instead of doing an 80k ride i'm just gonna do a 40k one so tomorrow is going to be about 40 or uh, 80 or 90 k's to get to Miva. i'll take it as it comes wonderful night camping at Musket Flat. It rained during the night and this morning, but Daryl kindly invited Sasha and myself over for a cup of coffee this morning. So it was fantastic spending a bit of time with him and Lee, listening to more stories and just taking it easy before setting out on today's ride. And this section, all the old coach road and this morning, has reminded me so much 
of the Mundabidi. Little gravel roads, eucalypt side to side. Beautiful ride yesterday and lovely ride so far this morning. So, I'm not sure where I'm going to go today either to Sandy Creek, Bush Camp or push on through to Myva. We've got enough supplies to do an extra day and just guess I'll see how I feel when I get to Sandy Creek and see if I pull up stumps there. Who knows, hopefully this beautiful ride continues. Arrived at Sandy Creek Bush Camp and just put coffee on and stay in this little shelter. Decided to put my tent up underneath the shelter today. Uh, last night when I was at Musket Flat. I didn't put it up underneath the shelter, I thought the, the ground was a bit hard to hammer the pegs in. So I left it kind of outside, it rained. Oh, it was nice and dry though. This is quite a nice little campsite. Thank you for Ross for letting us stay here. Tad's had some, has had things nicked from it, I think from over there. This is the water tank, which is quite low. I'm just collecting some water there. Hopefully I'll have enough by tonight, tomorrow, and then going to go to Myva. I only did 40 Ks today, which is great. It's easy. Uh, 40 Ks yesterday and about 40 Ks tomorrow. So it's, it's good to do some nice, short days. I think I've done quite a few long days and um, my legs have been wrecked and this is just fantastic. Nice short. Um, getting to camp, you know, it's 10 to 1. Yesterday got in at half 1 and was hanging out with Daryl and Lee at Musket Flat and Sasha this morning. Had a coffee, took it easy and uh, yeah, that's how the day is continuing. It's fantastic. Nice. <laughs> 